Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to read for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for April. Okay, so at any time in April, all right? Um, we're just going to start right here. What do we have for Aquarius in April? What do we have for Aquarius at any time in April? Come to the edge. Come to the edge. I'm going to read it. It's interesting because I opened up to 39 and 39 says new life. So I wonder if it has something to do with a new life. Um, Courage, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear, and accepting risk. Facing the unknown is the only choice you really have right now if you want to progress. It's okay to be afraid. Now is the time to take a risk that is not calculated, to feel the exhilaration as you ready yourself for a leap of faith. Spirit is present, so let go of the fear. You are called to express your true self. Listen to your heart and soul, not your head. Come to the edge and discover that you can fly. You must step into the unfamiliar so that you may find your miracles. This is the fool, right? This is like the fool card. This is about facing your fears, stepping into unknown territory, taking a risk, doing something that you have never done before, okay? Have no fear. It's scary to be truly intimate with someone to allow them to allow him or her to see all of you, especially the parts that you've kept hidden and protected. Now is the time to take that risk and let yourself be seen, truly seen. It's important that you speak up, voice what you need, state who you are, say what you hope for. This is not the time to play it safe, but to take a leap of faith. You will be glad that you did. If you're seeking a relationship, the same applies. Take one step toward, towards the gods and they will deliver you what you truly desire. If ever there was a time for you to take a leap of faith into the unknown, it is now. This is the perfect moment to take a big risk. The unknown is the only choice now, and if you come to the edge, you will discover treasure beyond your wildest dreams. Allow your courage to lead you in spite of your fears. You don't need to know the exact form of what you're going for. The essence is much more powerful, and spirit has a way of delivering an even, an even better version of prosperity than you can imagine. Take that step. The results will be amazing. So you are being called to take a leap of faith. Do something risky. You, the results will be amazing. Something that you have never done before or something that you are afraid to do. What do we have for Aquarius, please? Seven of Coins. Seven of Coins is about investment. Is it worth it? It will be worth it. It will be. This is thinking about it. Is it worth it? Should I? Shouldn't I? Yes, you should. Just do it. I feel like there's definitely an opportunity for prosperity here. You're going to be made an offer, or you could be making somebody an offer. I think it's. I think that you're going to be made an offer, and you should take it. Take the offer. This may have to do with a store. You know, you know, something to do with a store. I'm not sure what, but or crafts or some sort of craft that you have. Somebody might want to buy your goods or buy your services or hire you or. They may want you to work for them, and they might may want you to um, 
invest in something that they have. Somebody, this is about investment. So I feel like you are going to be presented with an option and I think that you should take it. There's loyalty here. Dogs represent loyalty. Okay, I think this is something you can trust. What do we have for Aquarius? Two of Swords. Now that is torn. This is a tough decision. This is. This is protecting yourself. I feel like you are held back by fear. The Two of Swords is held back by fear in protection mode. You may have blocked your emotions or you're blocking the truth or, you know, you're in protection mode. That's what that is. That, that's torn. You know, sitting on the fence, you know, having a hard time facing your fears. I think you have to make a stressful decision. You will be making a stressful And it's obviously between two options, right? Oh, take the mask off. Open your heart. Allow. Four of coins. This is about stability. It's about security. It feels like you like stability, right? You like security. You want things to be stable. I think you're holding on to something. You're holding on to something that is secure. You may be playing it safe. You are playing it safe. Eight of swords held back by fear. Oh my goodness. Wow. Unbelievable. Look at this mask both times. I'm choosing not to see. I don't want to see it. I don't want to. I'm scared. I'm scared. You need to break free from that fear. This is fear. It's mental turmoil. You have an opportunity for a new life, okay? It's interesting that I opened it up to new life. The Fool is a new life, and that is definitely the Fool card, that first card. The Eight of Swords is a need to break free. Okay? You are confining yourself. You are restricting yourself to something. You must escape. You must break free. It is time to open up. Stop protecting yourself so much. You have chosen to live in a world where there's barriers. Let your barrier down. Let your guard down. I feel like you need to reevaluate your current situation. This is, this is not happiness. You're choosing to play it safe. When there is an opportunity, there's an opportunity for freedom, for a new life. You're going to be offered a golden opportunity. There is a golden opportunity here to work together with somebody that is respected. This person is respected. This person is a hard worker. This person is reliable. Let them in. I think you're blocking your emotions. You're in protection mode. You need to you need to let your guard down. Oh, goodness gracious, Seven of Cups reversed. That is beginning to see it, seeing clearly, choosing an option. It's choosing the option, making a decision. Take the mask off, open your heart, look at it for what it is. This is a stable, solid opportunity. Choose it, take it. You know, Seven of Cups to me is a card of consequences. Be careful, you know, what you own owns you. It's also, but, but, but with the consequences, if you let it go, there's a consequence to letting it go. I think that you're going to be making a very difficult choice this month. And fear is the biggest factor. This is fear factor. You know, you have an opportunity for something stable, solid, secure. With, to work with another person. There is another person here who uh, wants to work with you. Okay. They, they, but this, and this person does know that you are afraid. Okay, this person can see, doesn't have a mask on like you do. Okay, they don't wear a mask. This person uh, can see very, very clearly that you are scared. They can see that you are in protection mode. They can see that 
uh, you probably need help. They probably can see that. I think they can see that. But they, you know, they probably want you to give them a chance. Whoever this person is, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could also be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Whoever this person is, could be an Aries. Whoever this person is, they want you to give them a chance. And I think that you should. This is a secure option. Two of coins. Now this is a need to be flexible. You need to be flexible. You need to adapt. You may need to adapt to a change. This is a realignment. The Two of Pentacles is a realignment. Okay, this is, this is a earthly power larger than ourselves that is giving somebody a golden opportunity to break free from a miserable situation or a situation where there's a lack of growth because the Seven of Pentacles is a lack of growth there's an, or a lack of success or this is an opportunity for success. But you will have to be flexible. You will have to adapt and you will have to make some changes. This is about a partnership because we have these twos here. So you have a part, you have an opportunity for a new partnership, whether it's a job or it's a, it's a lover. Could be either one. You have a new opportunity here. It's exciting. It is exciting. Take it. Step into the unknown territory. It may be scary, which I can see that it is. I think that you are very much in protection mode, but I think that you can trust this. I think it's meant to be. I do. I think that um, this has to do with money as well. It has to do with financial stability. This can make you more financially stable. Where there's equality, it feels like there's somebody that can come in, that is coming in that can help you where you're not by yourself. You know, this is, it's, whenever I see the Eight of Swords, it's like, it's almost like this is somebody coming to the rescue. They're going to help you. They're going to help you to open up. They're going to help you to heal. They're going to help you to escape from this prison that you've been in. You're going to be free. You're going to be, uh, you're going to start to feel better if you let them help you. There's somebody here that is coming in to help you. Okay. You're going to be working with somebody new if you allow them. You have to allow them. Um... You, it feels like you've been restricting yourself out of fear, but something is coming in, which is probably going to add, ask you to adapt, ask you to change. You know, you do need to change. There's something that you need to change. You need to be more open-minded, okay? You need to uh, do something that you've never done before. I do believe this involves an exchange of money somehow. It has to do with money. You may be working with somebody where, you know, there's there's money exchanged. King of Swords. Now the King of Swords is probably your energy, but it could be somebody else's. This is making a difficult decision. Yep. You're going to, this is decision, decision, decision. You're going to be making a dis difficult decision. This is divinely guided. It is divinely guided. There's a higher power here that is bringing you an offer that is from above. You definitely could be dealing with a Taurus as well. Um, you're going to need to listen to your gut, believe in yourself. You could be dealing with somebody that um, is a healer. This is somebody that has access to God. You know, this is a channeler or a spiritual teacher or a counselor or a mentor. You could also be receiving some advice you know, from a counselor or a higher power or somebody that you trust during this month. I do believe that you are being guided. You are being guided definitely to follow your gut. Um, maybe take it. Well, obviously, it's not a baby. Maybe it's take a chance. Take a chance. This is divinely guided. This could, and if it's a relationship wise, this could lead to marriage. It could lead to a long term commitment. I do believe that you are going to need to make a very difficult decision this month in regards to an offer that you are receiving or you're making the offer. This is an offer that could that could really last. I feel like it could last for a very, very, very long time, but it's so scary and I think that you are going to be so, so, so scared of it. 
There is somebody that is very solid and stable and secure and hardworking and abundant that wants to work with you. Okay, they may want to partner up with you. They want to partner up with you. They want to work with you. Um, but I don't, I don't see you. Well, I think that you need to take a risk. This is definitely risky, and this does have to do with money. There will be maybe it's it's uh, joining forces. You know, it could be for some of you, it could be moving in together. You know, it could be starting a relationship, starting a business. Um, you know, buying and selling products together. Is it teamwork? This is teamwork. You're going to be teaming up with somebody. And I think it's really, 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 really scary. Anyhow, I feel like uh, this is going to be a challenge. It is going to be a challenge. You could also be dealing with somebody, if it's not you that has their guard up, this is somebody that is scared. You may need to communicate with this person. You may need to communicate you know, what you have to offer. You may need to communicate that, you know, you're willing to be flexible, that you're willing to help them. You may need to communicate to them that, you know, you're you're here for the long haul, that kind of thing. I think that you you could be dealing with somebody that maybe blocking their emotions from you. And you you probably see it very, very clearly. You may just have to uh, be patient. Maybe you've got to be patient with this person as they open up. I do think this person will open up. They will. They will open up to you. They will see clearly that you're uh, solid, that you're stable, but you may have to really, really um, prove to them that uh, you're stable, that kind of thing. You know, that you're not just going to get up and go. You're going to stay. That You've chosen them. You may have to prove to them that you've chosen them. You know what I mean? Ace of Swords. Now that is a new beginning. Okay? That is communication. That is, you are going to be communicating something. You're also going to be receiving information, taking a new approach, being honest and upfront. That's the sword of truth, and it is the sword of power. I feel like you're going to be in a powerful position this month. This is definitely a new idea, a new approach. You're going to need to take a new approach. It's not going to be scary. It is scary. You're going to have to, you, and if you haven't communicated in the past with people, there's stubbornness here, okay? If you haven't communicated in the past, if you've been stubborn, you know, and, and not wanted to open up, this is the time to communicate. It may not be easy to communicate, 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 communicate. There's a lot of honesty here. I think that you're dealing with somebody that is very honest and loyal. I meant that I saw the loyalty up here. You are, and I think that you need to let go of your fears and take a chance. There's a lot of fear here. So you're going to be receiving an offer that you should take. Whoever is making this offer is honest and truthful and loyal. But I think that you have restricted yourself greatly. I mean, seriously, restricted, restricted. Because perhaps you dealt with a player. I mean, the two of pentacles is player juggling is a game right and i feel like i feel like you're fearful you're feel fe fearful of being played but i do feel like this is a real solid opportunity for success to work with whoever this person is i do think that it is worth worth it i think that you should step into unknown territory i think that you should take that step i think that you should have faith and trust this is a partner that will bring you equality. They will reciprocate. It will not be one-sided. This is, this is something that you deserve. Somebody wants to work with you. That is for sure. You're going, you are definitely receiving an offer that can bring balance to your life. Financial stability. With another person. 
And I feel like you've been juggling. Maybe you've been, you know, balancing, trying to balance the books or whatever. Maybe there's been some sort of financial instability. It's over if you take this chance. You're dealing with somebody that is very, very generous. And, and they're truthful. You see the scales? There's a lot of truth here. You're dealing with somebody that is very, very honest. They're, they're, they have integrity. You can trust them. This will be, this will be an, an equal opportunity. I would take it. You're going to be receiving an offer this month. And for some of you, it could even be a pay raise. Or more money, an increase in money. Whatever is happening, but I think it's a partnership. You're going to be partnering up with somebody. Uh, I think it's reluctantly. I think it is reluctantly. I think that your fear is great. Fear of falling, right? Fear, that is, it's fear of falling. But I think it's time to take a new approach. Maybe you just need to communicate more. You need to open up. You need to let go of your fears. Choose. Take it. Take that option. Take it. I think it's coming from... I think it's coming from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. If it's not, it is coming from somebody that is financially stable and secure. This person is not wearing any masks. None. They are very transparent. Give them a chance. Good luck.